Hi, my name is Zev Gershon. I'm a physician and an attorney practicing medical malpractice law, specifically concentrating in cerebral palsy cases. One tool, if you will, to help time when an injury occurs, if it occurs in labor and delivery, is placenta pathology. So the placenta, as everybody knows, is a unit that connects the baby through its umbilical cord to the mom through her uterus. The placenta can show many things that occurred during the nine-month pregnancy and some things that may have happened during labor and delivery. For example, one can examine the placenta under a microscope and look for infection, signs of infection, signs of meconium, that is passage of the baby's stool in utero, or signs of even diabetes can be seen on the placenta. All these things should be examined under a microscope so that one can have an accurate picture of what type of environment, if you will, the baby was in during the nine months or however long the baby was in utero up through labor and delivery. In addition, a placenta may show signs of an abruption, that is a premature separation of the placenta from the uterine wall, or blood clots. These two may help determine what exactly caused uh, an injury to the baby, if anything, during labor and delivery. The pathologist then has at his fingertips the microscopic examination, of course, but we shouldn't forget there's also the gross examination of the, of the placenta. That is, many times one will see clots just by visually examining the placenta without even needing to look at a microscope. Or the placenta will be broken in certain parts, if you will, or it could have several lobes, or it could be covered with meconium, again, that stool passage of a baby in utero. So a thorough examination of the gross placenta, the outside of the placenta, together with a microscopic examination of the placenta, together with examining the umbilical cord that connects the baby to the placenta under the microscope, can be valuable tools in determining if at all there was an insult during labor and delivery.